Hey guys, it's Keezy here today, and today we will be reviewing and restyling the LOL OMG Sunshine Makeover Switches. All right guys, so let's go ahead and get right into this review. This is this year's new line from LOL OMG and I'm super excited to get into it. We saw leaks of this line last year and yeah, I'm honestly excited to get into switches here. So first let's go ahead and take a look at the box. So on the right side of the box here, you can see this little read up here. It says eye color change in the sun. Then you have this beautiful artwork of switches here. You can see that she has her little bows and it kind of has this gradient to kind of show that she does color change on the bottom here it says switches and then again it kind of has a gradient picture of or a half and half picture where you can see how she color changes in the sun of course you have the lol omg logo right there and then it says sunshine makeover it does have this big logo for switches here and then some little designs and a kind of an ombre on the background on the other side it kind of has a continuation of the artwork and then it says hey sis and it has her little sister right there on the back again you have that big picture of switches here and this says omg when we sister strut our looks under the bright sun we will reveal an outrageous makeover never seen before and it has bubblegum dj and sunrise i haven't been able to find bubblegum dj at the time of this filming but i do have sunrise which we'll be reviewing as well so that is switch's box let's go ahead and get her out of the box so we can take a look at everything that she comes with all right so now that we've gotten switches out of the box let's go ahead and take a look at all the items that she comes with starting with the stand she comes with this lol omg stand of course it has the base that says lol omg molded into the bottom and it does have the telescoping portion here which is the exact same color attached to the back they do give you two different size waist clips but the stand and the stand base are just in a nice kind of plain white color Switches also comes with an LOL MG, OMG brush. It does have kind of like some stripes on the handle here. And then it says LOL OMG that is molded into the brush as well. And it's a light pink. Nothing's too special to see here. And Switches also comes with a pair of round sunglasses. They're definitely very 70s inspired. That's the feel that I get from them. They have kind of like a light pink tinted frame. And then around the edges, you can see three little flowers here on each side. It does have a little charm that's hanging from the glasses arms. It's kind of like this beaded flower hanging from the side. It's not on the other side. It just hangs on one side. For her earrings, she has these two hoops. They are these gold hoops that have some attached pearls on there. So it has one pearl at the very top that kind of acts as a stud. And then it has three different size studs on the very bottom. We definitely love electroplated jewelry on this channel. And yeah, they're just some really simple hoops. Switches also comes with a necklace. Again, it is a gold electroplated kind of cuff necklace for the class on the back. It kind of continues that pearl design. It has three different size pearls here. And then this one little bead at the end that's just a regular gold. And now moving on to Switches boots. So she comes with these two pink kind of combat boots. They have some painted white details kind of all over. So the laces and the eyelets for the laces are painted. It also has this kind of chain detail here that kind of has this flower ring with these dangling chains all over. Some more rings here and a couple of studs. And yeah, they're just a nice little simple combat boot. I wish that the white was a little bit more bold just to give the boots some more dimension. Switches also comes with an additional layer under her boots, which are some fishnet socks. You can kind of see a little bit of a flower motif going throughout them. Switches also comes with two armbands. They have this kind of diamond cut out here on two spots on there. At the very top, you can see this cute little pink bow that they've attached to it. It also has this nice little pink and white chevron motif going all the way around. I would just be careful putting your doll's hands through this. I would definitely remove the hands if you're gonna take these on and off just so they don't get stuck through those holes. And next we'll take a look at Switch's top. So it's this nice little sleeveless crop top. It has this little band around the neckline just to create a little bit of an edge. Then it goes down to this fishnet that has some overlay glitter and it's just also in a light pink. 
Around the top of the neckline, it has a little bit of some pearls that continue all the way to the back. And then for the actual bralette, it kind of has this stretched out hound's tooth print on it. And then for the waistband, it just has this black waistband and it's very stretchy. So Switches actually has two different skirts and we'll go over the first one first. So it is this organza skirt that has this little bit of a lace trim around the very top. It is two different layers of organza. The top layer also has the same glitter applied and dots all the way throughout. I love the volume and the drama that this gives and I'm glad that LOL Surprise is still giving us additional layers even without the garment bags. Okay, and then the skirt that she comes with underneath her original one is this hound tooth skirt and it's kind of a short pencil skirt. So it does have a black trimming running down the middle with some gold studs. It also has some more black trimming on the sides here just to act as some pockets with some more gold studs on the very top and it does velcro in the back. For the trim, it has some more of that pearls and yeah, I really, really think that this is cute and that it definitely ties in to the top. Okay, and now that we've taken a look at all the items that she comes with, let's go ahead and take a look at Switch's face up. So as part of the face up, she does have some printed on baby hairs here. They are long, white, and kind of squiggly. I really like this design. I honestly like when they give us baby hairs regardless. She also has some pointed, straight, LOL, OMG eyebrows. For her eyelid, she has kind of like this powdery pink eyeshadow on the very top. And on the outer corner, she has some white winged graphic liner. One for her actual eyeliner, she has a black winged eyeliner with three little eyelashes. Her eyes are a nice brown color. You can kind of see some what I believe are stars or flowers. You can kind of see three flowers lining the under eye here. Mine actually look pretty good. The only thing that is kind of bothering me is her lip. So she has this icy pink lip, but mine is done kind of messily. I didn't notice this when I picked her up in store, but it's not a huge problem because I can just use some acetone to get that off. She also has some peachy pink blush on each cheek, and that is it for her screening. Now let's take a look at her hair. So for Switch's hair, she has this nice little middle part here. Her hair is a mix of black and white, so it's really white with some black streaks. For her hair design, she kind of has these two pigtail bows here that are done pretty nicely. They don't feel like they're super harshly gelled, but they do feel like they are gelled a little bit. If you look at the back here, you can kind of see her hair is nice and straight. And the fun part about and the fun part about this hair is this actually color change hair. I will say the one detriment to that is that the hair isn't as soft as the normal nylon that MGA uses. It is a little bit more rougher and it almost kind of feels like polypropylene, but it's not. It's just the color change nylon. And we'll do a quick little test to see how well it works because I have my little UV light here sorry I don't have a huge UV light and it's actually like past midnight while I'm filming this so I can't go out into the Sun and test this out with you but for now let's go ahead and try out the color change on her hair So as you can see, the color change effect does work. I have such a small UV light that it's hard to kind of <laughs> do it in a very dramatic way. But you can see her hair is kind of color changing to a nice pink color. I think it's really cool that they were able to incorporate this in. But yes, if you have a bigger light, it'll probably work a little bit better. Or if it's on a nice sunny day, it'll probably work as well. But yeah, I think this is a really, really cool feature. I probably won't do it very much, but I wanna see if I can get a better result for you guys. If so, I'll insert it in the video. But yes, that is all for switches. That is everything that she comes with. So now that we've taken a look at everything that she comes with, let's go ahead and restyle some hair.
All right, so let's get to restyling some hair. So all of the things I'm about to do are optional, which I mean, I guess you could say any restyle that I put on my channel is optional, right? <laughs> but what I'm gonna start out by doing is boiling some water for Miss Switches here. I will say this did not work as well as I thought it would, but we'll talk about that a little bit more later. So I'm gonna rinse switches under some cold water. She didn't have a whole bunch of gel in her hair like I said before. I just wanted to loosen up the little bit of gel that she did have. Then after I have properly rinsed her, I'm gonna go in with my favorite shampoo, which is Dawn Dish Soap. Not shampoo, but you know, something like that. <laughs> and I'm just gonna put a little bit of that in her hair. Then I'm just gonna work it throughout to get any leftover gel residue. Okay, so on to the boil wash. So I'm gonna do my normal method. So I'm just gonna pour the boiling water over the top of Switch's head. And so why I said this didn't work as well as I thought it would, you can kind of see here in this clip how the water was just running over the top of the head. It didn't penetrate the hair like at all. <laughs> so I didn't bother with that too long. I just, once I figured that the boiling water wasn't doing what I expected it to do, I just went in with a condition. So I used my Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine conditioner and just combed that throughout her hair. Okay, so after the kind of mishap of a boil wash, I just went ahead and recreated the hair bows that she had. I wish I could say I have the mental capacity to explain to you how to recreate these hair bows, but anytime that you have an intricate hairstyle like this, I always recommend that you take lots and lots of pictures of the style, especially as you take it down. Every single time you remove a rubber band, snap a picture. That way when you're recreating it, you won't have any issues <laughs> honestly all i did was recreate the hair bows and that was it for this restyle i wanted to keep it nice and simple she already had a pretty intricate hairstyle so i didn't think there was really much for me to change All right, friends, and that is all for my LOL OMG Sunshine Makeover Switches Restyle and Review. What do you guys think? Of course, leave me a comment down below, as always. And if you enjoyed today's video, of course, give it a thumbs up down below. And if you're here, that probably means you like doll restyles and doll reviews, and that's what we do here every single week. So if you feel so inclined, hit that subscribe button down below. But that's all for me, friends. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace!